You just can't talk about the behavior of behavioral psychology as it comes to um, autism without talking about Lobos. 19-year-old Cliff Schumacher is a living testament to the pioneering work of Dr. Ivor Lovas, an expert on autism spectrum disorders who passed away this week. When Cliff was only three, his parents knew he was facing challenges, but didn't know why. Something to me was clearly not developmentally right, but I didn't know what was wrong. She took him to doctors, she read books, but even in the early 90s, there wasn't much to go on until she heard about Dr. Lovas, who worked at UCLA. She and Cliff headed to Southern California. Mm -hmm. He got 42 hours a week of one-on-one -on -one work at the beginning. That only took, in his case, about a year and a half, and he went from virtually being nonverbal by the time he was in first grade to being able to handle first grade. Dr. Patrick Gezi helped bring the Lovas program to Reno and still helps children with autism using what Dr. Lovas taught. But beyond the lessons was a man who was deeply committed to the children who were entrusted to his care. Well, you have in Dr. Lovas on the one hand a cheerful buoyancy about him and on the other hand a dead seriousness about what was at stake here and that's the life of a child. He didn't accept what a lot of what a lot of other doctors and a lot of other scientists said that there's no there's nothing that can be done. He couldn't accept that. You know, he was very, very compassionate for his patients and, and had an incredible passion for his work. My most poignant memory of Dr. Lovas was actually a chance encounter on the UCLA campus. And Cliff and I, and again, Cliff is only three, we were walking across the campus, and Dr. Lovas spotted us. And he squatted down, and he held out his arms, and he yelled Cliff's name. Now, this is an autistic child who, at this point, is not connected to very many human beings. Cliff ran right into his hug, to my absolute amazement. Um, I've always thought at some level he must have understood what a, a caring and warm person he was. Uh, I'm very fond of Dr. Lovas. <laughs> if it hadn't have been for him and the help of your parents, where do you think you would be? I think it would have been bleak. It would have been very isolated. It would have been confusing. It would have been chaotic. Um, and your life is none of those things. No, right? it's not. Well... It's a little chaotic in its own terms. That's my fault. <laughs> now, Dr. Lovas leaves a son, Eric, who has continued his work in the field of autism research and treatment. There are also Lovas clinics and training centers all over the world.